guys are phenomenal. AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Out Live. Johnny Gargano and Finn Balor from Elite 70. What is going on, guys? Bird Alive back with another video. Never heard of Bird Alive. I do WWE and WWE Action Figures. Today, we're taking a look at Gargano and Balor from Elite 70. Pick these figures up from WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles using discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10%. Elite 70 is a stack series. We're starting the three-part video series where I review all the figures in three different videos. The first video, Gargano, Finn Balor, let's get into it. Starting off with Johnny Gargano, of course, based off of his feuds with Tommaso Ciampa. We did previously uh, take a look at Elite 69 Tommaso Ciampa, which, is, which goes with this attire of Johnny Gargano, looking amazing. Based, based off of Venom from Marvel, comes with a fire extinguisher, a bunch of different interchangeable hands. There's a picture of Gargano right there. Says Johnny Gargano on the side of the package. There's some info on the back. If you guys would like to pause the video to read. Other people in the series, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Gargano, Johnny Gargano, EC3, Mr. Man, and Dolph Ziggler. So let's crack him open. And here we have Johnny Gargano looking absolutely amazing. Again, based off of his Venom attire when he faced Tommaso Ciampa at TakeOver. Here he is fully accessorized. I do have one of like the three pairs of interchangeable hands that you get, dude. You get the FO holding hands, you get the fisted hands, and you get the high five hands right there. Really cool. And you can do his famous pose when he does, when he comes out to the ring right there. Looking beautiful, man. That is so cool. Taking the hand down, here's a look at the head scan man looking amazing ever since Mattel started doing that true effects head scan technology dude definitely a big step up man amazing looking figures yeah here's a look at the wrist tape you got black and uh, red and then white and black right there here's a look at the vest dude a lot of different sculpting brand new mold bunch of different paint apps all of this vest again as for the third time based off of a venom attire I don't have it clipped in on the back not yet. I'll probably do that after the video, but you do have some nice blue and red design on the back. Of course it comes off. We're going to do that right now. There's Johnny Gargano without the vest on. Dude, I love it. How he freaking has the ripped torso. Finally, man. He doesn't have the Daniel Bryan torso. I think it looks 10 million times better, man. Absolutely amazing. Here's a look at the trunks. Let's get a better look at those. Put the arms up here. Dude, nice. I love the blue, the red, and the black. That looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. On the back, it says Johnny Wrestling, dude. Oh, my God. That is an amazing decal, dude. This figure is beautiful, man. And this is only the first figure that I'm reviewing out of Elite 70. There's a there's a classic Johnny Gargano logo right there. It says Johnny, Re Johnny Wrestling on the left knee pad. There's a look at the kick pads right there. Black and red design. Going down with blue shoes and red soles, dude. And and before I throw the vest on, I have, I have to do this. Boom! Oh my god. Do these figures look amazing together? I know they weren't together. I'm not I know they're not together as a tag team, but dude, they're they're amazing rivalry in NXT, dude. Oh, looks beautiful together, dude. That is awesome, dude. And then there's a look at the fire extinguisher that Gargano comes with looking pretty casual. I do have one in my backstage area. Just a red little body there with a handle that you can move up and down. It does have a little bendy there, so of course you can move it around. Pretty cool accessory right there. And this rebel heart. And bang! The Demon King, Finn freaking Balor. Looking beautiful. As I said, NXT TakeOver London attire right here. Looking absolutely amazing. There's a look at Finn Balor on the side of the package with his brand new Demon attire. Can't wait to add it to the collection of all my other Demon figs because as I said, I make sure to collect every single Demon figure that they ever release. There's a look at the back. Pause the video if you guys would like to read any of that. There's a look at everybody else in the series. Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Johnny Gargano, EC3, Mr. Man, and Dolph Ziggler. Guys, there are so many good things about this freaking Finn Balor. Start off with a Finn Balor fully accessorized. Looking amazing. What I love, starting with the hairpiece, let's take a look at it. What I love is this is one accessory. So I'm glad you don't get the headdress and the hat. That would just look way too bulky on his head. I'm glad it's one accessory. Looks beautiful, man. Awesome, dude. There's a look at the jacket. Also looking insane. You got sort of like a cape style in the back. Just like Jack the Ripper, dude. This is so freaking cool. Let's take the accessories off. Oh my god, this figure looks amazing. Oh! I haven't seen one review on any of these figures, so this is all new to me. Oh my gosh, dude. This looks insane, dude. Look at that head scan! 
the gritted teeth, looking freaking amazing. I love this demon attire, dude. This is so freaking sick. Oh my god, there's a look at the left armband, he got some red, and the right, it's just black. He does have some finger tape right there on his fingers, looking pretty nice. And while we're talking about the hands, he also does come with a uh, little uh, Daniel Bryan praying hands, as I like to call them. <laughs> if you guys follow my Instagram page, you guys would know, that's at Brett Figures. And boom, there's a look at the back, looking insane, dude. Oh my gosh, comment down below. I'm not, I think that is Jack Thurber right there, but comment down below what this is. This um, big logo on the back is based off of, but dude, that looks freaking insane. Oh my gosh, amazing work by Bill McKenna and the guys at Mattel. There's a look at the trunks there, red, sort of like lightning design or fire design going around the trunks, looking wicked. There's some more paint all over his legs. Looks sort of like stitched up legs, but obviously it's paint. But dude, that just looks so insane, man. The way Mattel did this. There you got some more white teeth all over the knee pads. More red on the left, and then black on the right. And what's cool, I just noticed, if you guys look on the entire, here, I'm gonna cover up this. If you guys look on the entire right side of the figure, it's all black. But if you open, but if you do the uh, left side, everything's red. I just think that's such a cool design by Mattel and the guys that designed this attire, man. This is so freaking cool. And like I said with Johnny Gagano, the right torso, the right head scan, dude, this figure's got it all. Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of Finn Balor and Johnny Gargano. Yet again, we picked them up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Discount code live will save you 10%. Yet again, Johnny Gargano, Finn Balor from Elite 70. Stay tuned for all the other reviews. We still have to review EC3, Seth Rollins, Mr. McMahon, and Dolph Ziggler. So stay tuned for all those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Brutal Live! Out.